So Steve, um, how do you get the ball rolling in a conversation during the day? What do you go up and say to a girl? How do you approach them? Okay, so basically, um, like I said, I'm a big fan with the direct, that there are certain patterns that I feel um, work better. I basically, well, if she's walking past me, I'll let her walk past, then I run back and get in front of her, and I'll just say, hey, hey, excuse me. And that's to get them to stop. You have to get them to stop. If they don't stop and you just start walking with them and talking to them, they basically they've established that they're taking the lead and you're in this submissive like follower role where you're just trying to get their attention, like, please like me, please like me. So the, the huge thing is get them to stop. Okay, so once you get in front of them to stop, uh, you know, it's, it's more about the nonverbal stuff. Um, eye contact, tonality, body language, that has to be solid that you're projecting uh, confidence. And if you're very nervous, uh, it's okay to project a little bit of nervousness because that's, that's being authentic and in the moment. And I, I'll even say sometimes, oh, you know, I, you know I, I'm kind of nervous. You know, you're so cute. I saw you, whatever. So that's something you could say. But um, Do you ever say, like, oh, I don't normally do this? Or In the beginning I was saying that, but then it started to feel really, <laughs> really uh, inauthentic to say that on, like, the 30th girl of the day I'm approaching. So, uh, so yeah, I don't really say that anymore. But um, so what I'd say about what to verbally say, uh, my structure is basically to get in front and say, "Hey, excuse me," and then I'm going to basically say what just happened. So I'm going to say, "Hey, I noticed you walking past me, and you know you caught my eye. I thought you looked pretty cute, so I wanted to come over here and meet you, and see if you're cool." And so I compliment their looks, and then I question their personality. So now by doing that, you're number one coming from like a, a high uh, a high value frame as a guy that you're not just saying, "Hey, you're hot. Let me take you out." You're sort of qualifying them based on their personality. Um, which is healthy too. The more you do this, you realize you don't want to take out every single girl just because she's pretty. You want to qualify them, see that you actually connect with them, and have a you know personalities match a little bit, and then you take it from there. You're really just gonna say, hey, what are you up to today? How's it going? Where are you from? So stop, display interest, and then start a conversation and find out what they're like by asking them about their personality. Right. And and the key thing is is once you get that um, down, that's really like the basic aspect of it, and you realize that that's like. 20%, it's 80% your nonverbals. Yeah. How you're standing, your eye contact, your tonality. I mean, you know, the guys that are really good with this, I could go in and say the stupidest indirect thing ever, but my nonverbals will be very direct and she'll pick up on that. And then there's guys who are very nervous and, and not confident and their body language is horrible. They could say the smoothest direct line ever and they're coming off as indirect, you know? So, so it is about expressing. Um, your intent and your personality in a way that is direct also. So, so it's the verbal and the nonverbal together, which makes it very powerful.